your muscles. I think muscles. If your working from home days resemble this, you're not alone. Like many parents fortunate to still work during this pandemic, this is the new, sometimes sobering reality. What would you like to see more from me? Oh, well, there's a lot. Um, <laughs> maybe um, I want you to not always work, play with that. And while admittedly it was kind of fun at first, more than two months into homeschooling kids, what was a bit of a novelty has for some turned to frustration. The novelty wears off, um, kids are bored, um, we're tired. We're tired, we're, we're stretched. It's something child development expert Megan McClelland is seeing a lot of these days. To them, we're there and we're at home and it's really hard for them to see that they, ha so their job is to go to school at home somehow and our job is to somehow work from home and it's really hard to do both of those things. She says even as we go into summer, it's important parents follow a few simple guidelines. For example, in the morning, make a plan for the day. It doesn't have to be rigid, but at least have a plan. Give your child choices. Let them help come up with the plan. Then check in on them to make sure they're following it. Finally, give them a goal or reward to work toward, like maybe a movie night at the end of the week. Then give yourself a break. Do you think you could do that? Yeah. Because while no doubt challenging, McClellan says this is also an opportunity to learn and grow. You think we're going to get out through it okay? No. Oh, yes. <laughs> 19, yes. We will. And you know what? You're going to be stronger at the end of this. You're going to be a much stronger person. I'm already really strong. You are, but you're even going to be more strong. There's a big word we use for that. We call that resilient. Even if at times it's a bit wacky. You guys are going to be resilient. At home. You might not know it, but you In will. Southwest Portland, Keely Chalmers, KGW News.